What documents do you need for your life savings? Kind of an interesting question. It's certainly one we get asked a lot around here. More particularly, what documents do you need to prepare for the eventual fact that you will pass away, I will pass away? How are we going to be prepared in the interim? I'm attorney Mike Massey, and I've helped over a thousand families with their estate planning for their life savings. So what do you need to have prepared in order to do proper estate planning with our firm in particular? First, we want to know some basic information, phone, address, email, phone number, legal name, are you a U.S. citizen, uh, who you want to name to make decisions for you once you're gone. We'll want their same information, phone, address, and full legal name. And that's important that you name these people because you want someone to be able to make decisions for you if you're incapacitated in a coma, Alzheimer's, car wreck, dementia, something like that. And you also, they also need to know what you owned if you pass away to be able to help. Well, one of the things that we're going to ask for is for you to tell us what assets you own. We don't need to see statements typically. We don't need account numbers. We don't need specific down to the penny numbers. But we want a general idea. Do you have 100,000 in this IRA or do you have 2.2 million? Is your house worth 300,000 or is it worth 10 million? We'll get ballpark uh, numbers. We can always refine those as we go. But what I want you to get the idea of is it's not like you're you know, getting naked for a doctor in a, in a doctor's office to, to get a, a full exam. We're just trying to get an idea of who you are so that we can do the proper planning. Because if we don't have a good idea about you, then we're not going to be able to do the right type of planning. But it's very simple. Some basic information, name, phone, email, address, and uh, some you know basic, good, pretty approximate ballpark uh, figures on what assets do you own. Do you have an LLC? A lot of times we'll get through questions. We'll say, do you have this and this and this? And people will say, no, no, no. And they'll say, oh, I have this safe deposit box. Did I tell you about that? Oh, I have this property I inherited. It's in a different state or a different city. Did I, I, do I need to tell you about that? Oh, I've got these uh, vehicles that are on my ranch. That Did I need to tell you about that? We want to know about it. Otherwise, we can't properly plan for it. So it's pretty simple, but we'll tell you exactly what to get. So click below to learn more. Or you can always look us up. I'm happy to have a conversation at Mike Massey Law. Thanks, and have a blessed day.